So if you're asked to figure out which fraction's greater, one eighth or one half, here's how you do it. So you could just take on a calculator, divide one by eight, get a decimal, or one by two, get a decimal, just compare the decimals. And that'll tell you which is greater, one eighth or one half. You might even be able to reason it out. If you had an object, say, and you cut it, one object here, cut it into eight pieces. And then down here, you have the same object and you cut it into two pieces. Which one has larger pieces? Yeah, it's the one half. So one half is greater than one eighth. Finally, we could find a common denominator. Right now we have eight and two. But if we found a number that they both went into evenly, then we could just compare the numerator, figure out which fraction is larger. Let's do that. Let's see, two times four, that gives me eight. So two times four, that equals eight. And up here, we already have eight in the denominator. Let's just keep that the same. And we can't just multiply the denominator by four. We do need to multiply the numerator by four as well. Because four over four, it's just one. So I'm multiplying by one. Don't change the value, just the way it's represented. One times four, that's four. And four eighths is an equivalent fraction to one half. They have the same value. Have the same denominator. We compare the numerators. Four is larger than one. Four eighths is larger than one eighth. So one half, that's larger than one eighth as well. That's it. This is Dr. B. And thanks for watching.